Hello, I'm back, part three. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is to generate the code to put into um, my macro so that the button knows which macro, macro to choose. Okay, so I'm going to hit this button and that is gonna generate my callback code. And so I'm just gonna copy this line here. It says sub modify control as I ribbon control. Um, and then I'm gonna go in to my Excel spreadsheet and um, go to Visual Basic and copy it, or paste it right over that. Okay, so you can see it only changed control as, and put in control as I ribbon control. I'm gonna save this. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is show you my button. So in order for your button or your tab to show up, you're gonna have to save your code here over here. You're gonna have to save that and actually get get out of Excel um, and then back in in order for your tab to show up. So I'll show you my tab. So you can see I have my new button here because I actually did close it and reopen. But you can see I, have, I still have this these two groups over here. Well, if you don't want that, you can actually get rid of that here. So you just delete these groups here. I'll delete those and then These two groups. Let's validate our code. You can see it's still well formed. Okay, so now we're only going to have the one. So I'm going to save that. Okay, and actually, what I need to do is get out of Excel because it's saying that I have a process that it's using. So I'm going to get out of Excel. I'm going to save my code here, and then I'm going to get back into my into my spreadsheet it's starting up again okay and let's see if it's yeah so see it's cleared up that all the rest of that stuff um, and it just has my button in here so let's see I'm gonna go to developer make sure my oh yeah I need to put paste in that code so here we go I'm gonna generate the callbacks copy by using this button um, copy this piece of code and then go back to Excel, go back to my macro and paste it over that subline um, and save that. And then I'll get out of there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go back here, save everything, get out of this. I should be able to run my macro. Okay, so you can recall that my macro basically said to insert a total here, insert the word total here, and then bold those the total and put in a put in a border here. So let's see what happens if I run my macro now. Okay, so you can see my macro ran my new button. And that's how you do that.